wanted to go over today what I'm using. And uh, you, know, you just saw the nice cutthroat that I caught in here. That's a really big trophy fish here for Western Montana. Nice out, we're wet wading today. We have been all week. I wanna go over what I'm using. I got a six foot, six and a half foot lightweight spinning rod spooled with six pound trilene extra smooth. And I'm fishing a little jig. And this little jig is the homemade creation of my own. This is my own homemade creation tied on a VMC Neon 1 ounce. This little jig is incredible. That fish hit it like a dry fly. As soon as it hit the water, that thing was on. This jig has caught me more fish than I can even count. I'm just keeping it on the bottom with a little bit of action. My other setup, I mean, I like to fish flies. Don't get me wrong. But you can fish flies on a spinning pole. You do not need a fly rod. Today was the salmon fly hatch. And I've got on a Clark's stone fly. Hopefully you can see the Clark's stone fly there. I've got this on a seven foot Fenwick with 30 pound braid. 30 pound braid mainline. That's so I can put floating on it. Float, float it like a fly line and mend it like a fly line. From the fly on up, six pound mono Rio Power Flex tippet tied onto a tippet ring. Right here we have a tippet ring. Just allows you to tie a groove clinch knot on either side, from the braid to the tippet ring, from the tippet ring to the mono. Improved clinch knot. And then I just fish, fish the classic clear float. The float is rigged, wrapped twice, with a little homemade cork, homemade stopper. Pull it down. You can see the stopper there. The stopper is just a shish kebab skewer from the grocery store that I carve down with my Leatherman and make it fit. I put a little floating on the fly. I greased the leader with a little sink to put it down in the film so fish can't see it. And this thing's deadly. I can fish this better than people fish flies, better than I fish flies in some of this bank water on the other side you can see behind me. I can cast it in, let it sit, and then most importantly, I can drift this downstream 50, 75 yards in the pockets that don't get hit by people. This is an extremely deadly setup. So once again, don't think you need to go out and spend hundreds of dollars on a fly rod. If you have a spinning pole, spool it up with some braid, rig it up like I got, go to the store. If you tie your own flies, it's a real easy fly to tie and tie one of these. Get some jigs in both 1 8 and 16 ounce, three materials, and you're good to go. We're catching a lot of trout here today with this. Hopefully we got that one.
right, guys. Hopefully the hopefully the GoPro got that one. Uh, I know I've. Missed a couple. Nice fish for you, but there's another nice cutthroat that everyone would love to catch on that bobber, on that bobber and fly setup. There's that fly I was telling you about right there. And here again is that nice cutthroat. Nice west slope cutthroat. This guy's been hooked before. We're gonna let him go. Hopefully the GoPro got that take because just along that bank over there, there was a dark boulder just under the surface and my fly just skated right along the edge of that in the dark water. And that guy came up and ate it. Pretty sweet, we're gonna catch another one. <laughs> hopefully the gopro got that one dude oh my god hopefully the gopro got that one <laughs>